With the 2023 Alabama legislative session scheduled to soon come to an end, law enforcement is holding their collective breath. One bill will be approved by both chambers and then signed into law by Governor Ivey. The measure would make it a felony for a person to intentionally flee from law enforcement. Under a bill sponsored by Alabama State Representative Jenny Shaver, fleeing from law enforcement would become a felony. Currently, it's a misdemeanor. In the last few weeks, Matthew Hurst of Newton and Connor Matajewski of Missouri were arrested in separate high-speed pursuits in Geneva County. With the same crime of felony in neighboring Florida and Georgia, Geneva County Sheriff Tony Helms says the penalties are a lot less in Alabama. With Florida below us, it's a felony in Florida. It, and when Florida chases someone back up here, it's a felony. And you go to jail and you get a high bond and you possibly could be looking at prison time for risking uh, everybody's life. Um, but in Alabama, you know, it's a tip of the little thing. And Sheriff Helm says that the bad guys realize that it's only a misdemeanor as far as a high-speed pursuit in Alabama, whereas it's a felony in surrounding states. Anytime that you have someone run from law enforcement, um, no matter what the circumstances, um, they're putting themselves at risk. They're putting the law enforcement officers that are having to chase them at risk. And they're putting our good citizens, their citizens of the counties, at risk. Um, they may not care about themselves, but like I say, there's good people out there um, that are uh, at risk from this person and their reckless driving and their, their high speeds. And with the 2023 Alabama legislative session ending on Thursday, June 8th, Sheriff Helms hopes there's still enough time to make attempting to elude a felony charge in the state of Alabama.